morning everyone welcome back to the channel um so we got our things have been a little busy around here um but we got our caprine supply uh lumbar feeder bucket kit in um it came in the mail this morning and right i'm so thankful for my postal person um that delivers our mail and everything because they come like eight o'clock sharp in the mornings and then um, we ordered this one through the goat shop um, here in Arkansas uh, it's not a paid uh, sponsor or anything but just a shout out to them they're really good we order a lot of supplies through them y'all should check them out um, they don't just cater to Arkansas they cater to all the surrounding you know states in the US that order for from them um, now, uh, and a big shout out to Caprine Supply because these don't come with instructions and I had to figure it out and I actually had to call them. I was like, hey, um, where does this valve go? So um, I'm going to show you all a quick rundown of um, what it is before I start milking some of the does. Uh, and then I'll actually show you um, how to attach one of the nipples and tubes with the valve um, in the bucket so give me one second to turn the camera around okay so here it is it's fairly simple it's just a bucket um, with a lid and the kit comes with whoops, with 10 uh, 10 caprine lumbar nipples uh, tubes and the little green valves um, it also comes with the bucket, the lid, and the stand, which um, is really great. So, the nipples, we use these on our bottles for bottle feeding anyone. So, it comes with pre drilled holes, and you just bring it in, pull it through, till it's all the way. Simple like that. I'll do another one. Okay. Then, okay, so then you have the tubes, and at the end, they have these valves, little green valves. I've already put them in. They are actually pretty hard to push in, but they go at the bottom of the bucket and the other side goes into the nipple and you just punch it in okay so mainly what it is where you put it at the make sure the valves at the bottom you go right here and you push it in as far as it'll go and that's that and I'll do the other one. All right. I've got it all assembled and I rinsed all the tubes, nipples, bucket, um, rinsed it all out before I put it together. Uh, so all the ends with the valves are down at the bottom. All the rest are up here. The milk will go in um, here. And then he'll put the lid on, he'll put it in the stand, which I'll demonstrate here in a minute after I milk a couple of girls. And we'll try it out. Alright, so, I got the rest of the kids out, which is an absolute job. And the mornings, done with the milking. Got to set that up. I got our milk in here, got it filled. And let's see what happens. It'll take them a minute to figure it out because they're, they're, as you can see, they're all crowding me. Like, feed me a bottle, feed me a bottle. Hey, over here. Oh, Kit Kat found it out. Okay. Hey, look, look there. There's a bottle. Not really your bottle, but. Okay, hold on. Alright, they're still trying to figure it out, but some of them have, have got it figured out. Kit Kat figured it out. I gotta help Tiny. Fish Legs and Biggie have figured it out. Squirt, I've put him on there. 
but he he'll he'll get it he'll get the hang of it so and then that way they can keep going back on their own even put it over here where it's a little bit more level so but I mean it works so that's good we've got about uh, two liters of milk in here right now or did have <laughs> um, so oh nice Kit Kat now they do have to work a little bit harder to get to it um, because it has to come up in the tubes I'm not going to show you all right now just because we're still trying to get them used to it um, but uh, I'll show in another another video um, and uh, but this is definitely going to be a little bit easier than having to feed eight um, by hand so uh, but yeah they're just gonna have to get used to it so all oh, tiny and Miss Tiny, she, what we do is kind of, we'll put her between Reba and Dorothy right now. Um, one in the morning, one in the evening to get her milk. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, so Tiny is about five weeks old now. She is... She's horned and not been disbudded, um, because her, yes, because her new owners, oh my goodness, hold on. So her new owners do not want her, uh, disbudded, which is fine, but I think next year, um, as far as the Nigerians, I think we're just gonna go ahead and start disbudding all, regardless of preference um so you can't see her horns right off unless you look hi unless you look very close but they're there i know oh yeah the phone is not a bottle here's ida's too we got dangerous and her doe which for some reason, Ida is not producing, um, enough, and I don't know what that reason is, um, could be her age, could not be, um, but we are going to, uh, breed her one more time. Okay, so those guys have figured it out. You got it. You just gotta work for it. It's there. Come on. You can do it. Oh. <laughs> I'm not loving this uh, handle too much. Boy. <sighs> Come on, Biggie. You can go drink from the nipple. Okay, come here, sweet girl. I know, I know. Come here. Right here, right here. Okay, so whenever you remove the lid, you can see the tubes. Now, there's a couple that have milk in them. Um, and... Ow. So there's still plenty of milk. They just have to suck it out. So uh, we are going to see. There's Tiny, which she may not be able strong enough to suck hers out. But you've got this little girl that is trying to nurse. And we'll see about her. 
So maybe we will try the afternoon feeding. Um, that might actually, they might actually be a little bit more hungry and suck a little bit harder. It all has to do with that sucking reflex. So if you've got one like tiny to where she's really small and won't go after it, then, you know, she may not be able to be for her, but then you've got these guys to where they're going to suck my fingers off and all that but they'll get used to it it'll just it takes a little bit of time to get used to it all right so nobody has spilt it i am out here dealing with the morning chores and i'm gonna leave it here so that they can come and try to nurse on it like they're doing um i do not like that handle so we might wind up taking it off i mean it is handy to whenever it's full of milk to maneuver it around but if it gets in the way of those nipples we may not do that but I think I can at least put it down for now but see look fish legs has gone for it so that's exactly what I want them to do is I want them to get used to it so we're gonna go deal with the rest of the chores so whenever we have kids um, what we do is, uh, this hill pin behind me here, we close it off, um, for about the first month so that grass can grow. Um, and then we open it during the day, uh, which we've already done that here this past week and they've already ate all the grass. Um, but the rest of these paddocks, which we have one behind me. Um, that we use as a holding pin. Uh, we have this one. Mainly it's all of our breeding pins. Um, but, so all of this, breeding pin, open area, breeding pin, breeding pin, um, holding pin, and then up on the hill is an open area, and then, of course, this is an open area. Um, so, Whenever the kids are on the ground, they get to go up and whenever they're first born, um, we try to put them in a holding pen. Uh, and then a few days later, we will uh, integrate them into the herd, depending on weather and depending on the kid itself and depending on the doe. Um, like if she's had a traumatic experience or whatever, then we might hold her um, for a little bit longer. We also have a couple of kidding pens um, in our barn, which are completed, that we, um, use. So, all these kids, every night, all of, uh, them, uh, in the, in the does, they all stay in these areas. Um, and in the mornings, so they are locked out of this, uh, pen and this pin over here and so I will open up these two pins um, they have access to all their hay up here and all the grass which that's what I'm about to do all right so I've got this panel opened and I keep having a bottle kid down between my knees trying to nurse but I will holler for everyone. Hop, 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 hop. And that is their call to know that they need to come. But these are meeps too that I was talking about. There's her doe, there's her buck, and they're huge. And they can't fit through the fence anymore. Ha ha. Most of my little boar goats can't fit through the fence. So, after I open up the uh, gate here, let everybody through, I am going to go open up the barn over here and let Ruby and Dorothy come out.
difference between bottle raised and dam raised. Same age. They've all figured it out. Now the little ones we still need to help, but they'll figure it out too. <laughs> 